Hello, today I'm going to show you how to install the WordPress SuperCache plugin, uh, which is designed to make your WordPress site work faster. Uh, this is their, this is the plugin manufacturer's homepage for it, I guess. It's not very impressive. Um, when you look it up on the plugin directory at WordPress, you can see that it has been downloaded over 4 million times, so it is quite a popular plugin despite the lack of uh, you know, plugin homepage. It's over four stars, four stars out of five stars. This is definitely well known as the as the top cache plugin out there to help speed up your WordPress site. So to install it, what we're going to do is we're going to log into your site, go to plugins, and then add new. It'll bring you to the screen. Type in super cache, and then do a search. Okay, so the one we're installing is called WP Super Cache, and just go ahead and hit install now, and then activate. Okay, so it's been activated. It says the WordPress Super Cache is disabled. Please go to the plugin admin page to uh, enable caching. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. You can see that the admin page is also located under the settings tab under WP Super Cache. Um, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to start out by turning it on where it says caching on, update status. Now it's technically turned on. There are a lot of uh, uh, options to press in here, so by default it has a lot of these things turned off. We're going to go in here to the Advanced tab, and you see there's a whole bunch of these that say Recommended. We're going to go ahead and just pretty much hit all those Recommended ones. So Use Mod Rewrite to Serve Cache Files, that's good. Compress Pages, that's good. Uh, Three or Four Not Mollified, that's good. And it explains here uh, that GoDaddy's had a problem with people not having that checked in the past, so I'll go ahead and check it. Uh, cache rebuild, I think is already checked, but go ahead and leave that checked. It says don't cache pages for known users. Go ahead and check that. You can you know, uncheck these if you later decide that you didn't want to check it, but I would just go through and hit all the recommended ones. Uh, mobile device support, that should be already checked. One in here, extra homepage checks. It's recommended. Yep, that looks good. So then we're going to click update status. Okay. Now it gives us a thing up here saying that the rewrite rules required by this plugin have changed or been missing. It wants you to scroll down to the advanced settings page and click update mod rewrite rules. So we're going to go ahead and scroll down and you can see that it's basically put all these mod rewrite rules in here that it needs us to basically approve of so that this thing will start working right. So go ahead and hit update mod rewrite rules. It turns green saying that everything's been corrected that needed to be corrected. Now you can change the expiry time here. Um, by default, it's going to it's going to check once a week at midnight um, to for your uh, cache pages to refresh. I'm going to change that just to once daily. I'm going to hit change expiration. All right, um, all this other stuff we're just going to leave. Yep. So let's look at the other pages. I think these are all good by default. Um, one thing to look at here. Oh, on contents, we're going to go ahead and click. Uh, delete expired and then delete cache just to clear out anything that's been in there so far on the plugins page there are a couple plugins listed that are that are highly used plugins like domain mapping if you have WordPress multi-site um, WP touch if you're using that to mobile optimize and so if you are you want to hit, hit enable so that it's going to give you a little extra caching power when those plugins are used uh, I'm not using that plugin yet so I'm just going to leave everything as is come back to the easy tab and let's see I guess that's it. Um, so that's pretty much how easy it is to do WP Super Cache. You may tr you may uh, want to, for your own peace of mind, do a um, speed test on your site before and after. Um, you probably want to re re do the after one several times just so that things are getting cached properly by the time that you're you know getting a valid test out of it. Uh, but it definitely speeds things up depending on how much stuff that how depending on how bloated your site is. You know I've seen it see speed up time. Uh, on loads and reloads by 10%. I've seen it speed up sites by, you know, 30, 40%. So it just kind of depends on what kind of content you have as to how, how much it'll help you. But um, check it out, WP Super Cash. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and click like, and then click the link below to sign up for our newsletter where we'll send you guides, reviews, and how-tos directly to you, as well as our free guide on how to make money with your WordPress site.